Just hear those sleigh bells oh. ringling, ding, 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 ling, do. I'm cutting Sean. But no, 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 nothing better than a sleigh ride together with you. What's up, you guys? My name is Ryan Thomas Woods, and today I'm here with my good friend Sean from the Sean Board Show. What are we gonna be doing today? We're gonna be playing Cards Against Humanity. Now, I brought something very special. I had it autographed by one of the co creators. I said to him, don't just sign it, I'm not gonna sell it. Personalize it to me. It says, Sean. Sean. Fuck. Fuck off. <laughs> and then his name. That is awesome. So, so we're gonna be playing some Cards Against Humanity Christmas version though. I've never played the Christmas edition. I'm excited for this. Yeah. So if you've never played Cards Against Humanity, basically you have two sets of cards. You have black and white. The black ones are scenarios. Now, we're gonna ditch the, these black ones because we have our own Christmas. <laughs> we have our own Christmas scenarios that we're gonna use. But we're still gonna be using the white ones, which are what? Word smithery. Yeah, exactly. At a level that is nothing more than my inspiring. vocabulary and thesaurus. Right. So we have our cards, 10 of them, and of all objects, people, nouns, sex positions, I don't know what they are. And basically, we have a bunch of scenarios. We're gonna put what we think is funnier, and you guys get to decide whose card is the funniest for each scenario. So I'll list the scenarios down in the description, and you guys type into the comments which one's the funniest. So I can look at these cards, oh yeah. my gosh. Oh, I have some really raunchy cards. Ooh. Okay, so we have our first scenario, which is this holiday season, Tim Allen must overcome the fear of blank to save Christmas. Okay, I've got my Do book. you have yours? Uh, yes, I do. Ooh. Okay, I'm going in for it. Okay. You go first. Okay. So this holiday season, Tim Allen must overcome his fear, fear of man meat. Man meat to save Christmas. To save Christmas. That's a good one. This holiday season, Tim Allen must overcome his fear of the Jews to save Christmas. <laughs> I think I won this round. Oh, I think I won this round. <laughs> it was tough, but you make the call. You make the call. Put a little tick, and that's a point for Jews. whoever you think. Jews. Okay, next scenario. Okay. Uh, what keeps me warm during the cold, cold winter? Oh, wait, you gotta pick up a card because you always have to have 10. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Oh, there's so many good ones. So, one. what keeps me warm during the cold, cold winter? The hard working Mexican. Well, mine. <laughs> What keeps me warm during the cold, cold winter is explosions. Explosions. Because explosions. All right, which one is funnier? Leave it in the comment down below. <laughs> Next scenario. Every Christmas, my uncle gets drunk and tells a story uh, about blank. I'm stuck between two. <laughs> I gotta go. So, every Christmas, my uncle gets drunk and tells a story about... Robocop. Robocop? Robocop. I think I can up you on this one. So, every Christmas, my uncle gets drunk and tells a story about expecting a burp and vomiting on the floor. That is a good one. That's a good one. But Who Rob doesn't burp and but, 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 but Robocop is a hero, a savior, a role model, and a statue in Detroit. This is a good scenario. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hens, two turtle doves, and blank. I got mine right away. Oh, on the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hens, two turtle doves, and crystal meth. A fine gift. <laughs> With the I'm, Jews and the Mexicans. I'm so happy you are enjoying it at this present moment. <laughs> I think I'm just a lot hoop. Three French hands, two turtle doves. And Rush Limbaugh's soft, shitty body. What? Who is that? Rush Limbaugh is a uh, right-wing nutcase radio host. Your American viewers will know who Rush Limbaugh okay. is. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. Okay. Jesus is blank. Where's the card that says awesome? Okay, I got mine right away. I'm so good at this game. Okay, ready? Yeah. Jesus is presently taking off your shirt. Jesus is Lady Gaga. <laughs> Who gets that? Who get the point. Who gets that? Write it down. Have, have you ever done a video where you gave your viewers homework before? I'm sorry, guys. Wake up, America. Christmas is under attack by secular liberals and their blank. Oh, gosh, yeah. You ready? Yeah. Say it. So I go first. Wake up, America. Christmas is under attack by secular liberals and their Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Wake up, America. Christmas is under attack by secular liberals and their altar boys. Their altar boys. Okay. Oh, oh, very Christmassy. Exactly. Okay, so last and final one. Blessed are you, Lord our God, creator of the universe, who has granted us blank. I'm going out very Canadian. Like. Okay. Blessed are you, Lord our God, creator of the universe, who has granted us naked news. Naked news. A friend of mine's place of employment. <laughs> naked news? Yeah. Blessed are you, Lord our God, creator of the universe, who has granted us Justin Bieber. Oh. <laughs> So we did all of the rounds. So we did all the rounds. Total up the points mm -hmm. that you scored and let us know in the comments 
Who won? Who won? Was it five? Five two? two. Was it three four? four? Three, three four? We don't know. I'm sure some of your fans, just because they're partial to you, scored at seven nothing for you. But th if, if I that see... means that means your subscribers that are coming to this video, they need to comment and support you. Yeah, I need to I need to tell them to come support this video. But you know what? I don't want my fans to just declare me the winner because they're loyal to me. I want to know who actually won the game. Well, because I mean, I'm a good sport like that. True. Okay, so just put me down, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, now that we're done, make sure you leave a comment down below letting us know who won, me or Sean. Also, Chris. if you guys don't realize why I'm in a Spider-Man costume, I didn't explain it at the beginning. No, I didn't. wore Spider-Man costume because Sean is all about that, all about those costumes, and I, I wanted I to... I saw that, I came in and you had the Spider-Man costume on. Everything. And I preach. You went out of your way because Spider Man's my favorite guy. So, yeah, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up by hitting the like button down below because it really helps a bitch out. So, help a bitch out. Also, we're going to be filming a video over on Sean's channel. We don't know when it's going to be uploaded, but it's going to be over on Sean's channel. So, make sure you go check out his channel, check out his stuff, and eventually I'm going to be on his channel. May or may not be in the Spider Man costume. Right? To my viewers who are watching this video, I just want to say thanks for following me over here. Thanks for witnessing the game. And definitely let us know passionately who you think won this round of cards against holiday themed holiday cards against thing. humanity. And if you like my content, what should they do, Sean? They should subscribe to this channel. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Bye. <laughs> what?